Good evening, everyone. So welcome to this week's One Image, My Edit. I hope you're keeping well. And uh, just so you know, it's actually a Tuesday, in case you lost track of time over the Christmas period. Um, so tonight I'm going to be showing you how to create snow, realistic snow using Photoshop. So at the minute, uh, in the UK, we've got some snow. Uh, where I live, we've got a little dusting, I suppose. I think it's going to be more tonight. Um, but this I thought would be perfect for time of year uh, and, you know, to show you how to do this because it's quite a, quite an interesting thing to do. So what I'm going to be showing you is how to create um, a brush so that you can use that brush time and time again, um, how to layer different snow so you get different kind of um, sizes and how to blur them, things like that. Now, if you're a VIP member, the brush that I create today will be in the Facebook group um, straight after the live. So you can go and download that brush and just get straight onto using it. So if you want to be notified every time I go live, then just follow this link here. Just go to this, this link here uh, and type follow and you then get a text message from me to let you know that I'm live in the group. And also the next five step blueprint to photography challenge that starts now on the 18th of january i've moved that from the 4th to the 18th just because of some um, eu laws that have come in or will be coming in from january um, i've had to do some amendments on the way that i run my challenges so it just gives me an extra couple of weeks to get things tied up so go along join that if you want five days with me showing you how to get onto manual on your camera and also go and check out the website as well dsl.guru there is a settings section on there which allows you to type in basically your camera lenses and the genre of photography you're doing and it will give you the camera settings so go and check that out as well okay so on with tonight's crit critique one image rather so i'm in um, work mode from critique it friday um Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is um, we're actually going to create a new document. So this is just a, a snapshot picture. So I'm going to create a new document. Do, to do that, press um, Control or Command and then N. Um, and what that enables you to do is choose. So I've just bought something else up on my other computer screen. Um, it helps enables you to be able to create a document. So I'm just making mine 500 by 500. 72 dpi uh, and if you type that in it will it will come up again and again and again uh, so just click create and that will create just a small document and this is enabling us now to actually make the brush which is going to enable us to create snow okay so the first thing we're going to do is come up to here and we're going to select the this one here elliptical marquee tool okay and what i'm going to do is come down to here and i'm just going to create a circle uh, something like that okay then i'm going to come down to here make a new layer click on that and then i'm going to hold shift and delete or backspace uh, and up here we're going to fill it with black you can see there there's the options okay keep mode on normal 100 percent so okay so once we've done that we're then going to make a smaller one so come up to this circle here and you see this little box appears just click and that will I'll get rid of it um, same tool up here and we're just going to create a small circle up there okay and again control backspace or delete and that will fill it with black and then we can hover over click and that gets rid of it so once we've done that this is kind of this is going to be the start of the brush of, of, of actually making snow okay so we're then going to come up to edit and then we're going to find define brush preset. You can see it there. So we're going to click on that. And this is going to be our name. So let's call this uh, snow. Okay. And press OK. So then I'm going to come back to the image. And now we've basically created the brush. And you can see it there. Look. Okay. It's actually created. But to, uh, to find it, um, you just go to the the brushes so your brush is here okay click on this little down arrow there and there you go there's the one i just created called snow okay uh, and that's given us this kind of big and small brush so it's, it's it's actually one brush but we've got them two two dots there 
So what we're going to do from here is actually start changing uh, the settings of the brush. So we're going to go to window and then to brush settings. You can see that. OK, and now we have got the options to change the brush. So the way that the brush works, the way that it, it, um, it is basically scattered, um, the opacity of it, all, all, all kinds of stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the top, which is shape dynamics. OK, we're going to click on that and we're going to increase the jitter size. So the jitter size, you can watch down here, you'll see what happens. It basically moves it and spreads it out. So you can see even though the brush will still look the same, but this is the effect that, that is now going to give. OK, uh, control is off. Um, you only have that on when you want to uh, use a stylus. OK, but just leave that off for now. Um, we're going to change the angle jitter as well. I'm going to push that up to 100%. And again, you'll see what happens here. Look, you can see that it's almost like snow is starting to come alive. Push that right up. And what that helps to do is just create randomness. OK. Uh, and then the roundness jitter. So I'm going to increase that as well. We could go probably 100%. But if we look, these start to go from circles to almost angles. So I'm just going to move that down to about 80%, something like that. And... I'm just getting up the comments just to see if everything is OK. Uh, someone's saying can't see anything. Um, not sure what is going on there. Can everybody see OK? Uh, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Just let me know you can see everything OK, because I don't want to carry on doing it if you can't see. Um, look. OK, yeah looks okay okay so um where was i right um i was on i lost my track track now um so we've done the yeah that's up to here so this let's just maybe push that a little bit higher but again we're trying to avoid these turning into um we want them to stay circular so i reckon about 70 percent something like that and then minimum roundness um again we can push that up and that's just going to help round things off and spread it out a little bit more so around there um, again you can experiment and play then we're going to come down to here to the next one which is scattering so we're going to click on that and we're going to make sure that both axis is selected and then we're going to increase the scatter right up okay and you can see what that's doing with the brush there like it's almost like creating like a universe um, we can push this right up uh, as much as we want, really. Um, I reckon. I don't want to go too mad. I reckon around eighty percent. About there. That looks good. Yeah, about eighty, eighty-three percent. Um, that works really well, and that like that just scatters the snow around. Then okay, and then we're going to go to the transfer, and we're the opacity jitter up there we're going to make sure that's at 100 okay you can see what that's doing there it will actually instead of all of the snow being blobs it's going to kind of um you can see there it's making some of these a little bit gray so they're going to be darker okay um again that just gives more density and it gives a little bit more three-dimensional look which is what we're after um and uh we can go i think i'm just trying to think now if there's anything else uh, let's go to the brush tip up here um you can see we've got spacing here now again you can if you want to you can move that up and down um higher or lower i reckon around 30 40 percent 45 let's go with 40 there we go 40 percent um, but we can come and change that whenever we want okay so we're done with that now so we can kind of get rid of that there okay so once that is created um we can now start actually making the um the snow okay so the first thing we want to do is come down to here and create a new layer so just click on the square with the plus okay we now will create a new layer and we want to make sure that the brush is on white there okay because obviously we want it to be white and all I'm going to do is start painting. But before I do, 
I'm going to come up to here and just make sure the size is small because what we're going to do is we're going to create different size snow uh, and you can use the brackets keys as well just to increase that you can see as I press the brackets keys that number is going higher so if I click you can see there that they're quite small okay so all I'm going to do is literally I'm just clicking and dragging and you can see what that's doing it's creating these really small bits of snow okay so I'm just clicking I'm not actually um, I'm not letting go I'm just clicking and dragging you can click tap it and you can see what happens look it creates this randomized kind of uh, snow effect okay I actually just click and drag but every now and then it's good just to just to click as well uh, but if you click in the same spot you can see what happens it won't it won't appear on the same area twice okay so just for tutorial reasons i'm going to speed this up and just fill the area with lots of snow now this this snow is going to be the background so this is um snow that would be further away from the camera um it is the small parts and also these will be out of focus as well um, you probably wouldn't see these there'll just be a faint line of them and the cool thing with this is as well look is that i can actually avoid the flowers um, i don't have to go over them but if you wanted to make it if you want to make it a little bit more realistic then you can obviously go over some parts um, but the cool thing is is that you know you can keep the actual um subject you know without snow on it which is cool um so again just continuing this 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 is the longest part of this process it's just using this small brush uh, and again if we wanted to we could go and change the spacing on the brush if we wanted to um, up to here look we can just bring that down a little bit okay and just click let me get rid of that so just change the spacing just to help randomize everything and there we go okay so that is the background layer of the small snow so we're going to create another layer so come down to here across click on that create a new layer and now we're going to go a little bit bigger so let's make this 180 around there something like that and click and drag okay so these are slightly bigger and i'm going to do less of these because they're bigger and you can literally decide how many layers of these you want you can create you know as many different size snow as possible it's up to you okay and then i'm, uh, I'm going to do i'm going to do probably three or four so i'm going to make these a little bit bigger and you can see there look that's starting to get bigger and i know at the minute it just looks like splodges of paint it's not going to look like that after i promise <laughs> um let's create another one so another layer a little bit bigger and you will start to see that yeah these are starting to get really big now just splodge that on and another one and we'll make these really big uh, probably not that much I'm just picking a random number uh, there. That's that's really big. So I'm going to still do them. That's it. Actually, I'm going to command Z. I'm just going to do. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller because they're a little bit too big for me. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five clicks. Okay. Right. So now we've done that. What we can do is come down to these layers here, and we can just turn these off. Okay. Uh, let's click on layer one, which was our sort of our background snow, wasn't it? So what I'm going to do with this is come up to filter, go to blur, and then go to Gaussian blur. And what we can do here is change how much of this we want blurred. Now, remember, this is snow that is in the background. Now, if we carry on going, pushing this, eventually we'll knock it so much out of focus that it, it wouldn't be there. It would totally, totally disappear, which is there. OK, um, so you have full control over this. So I think something like that that looks like background snow to me so it's almost like stuff that is um it's almost broken isn't it okay that's pretty cool that looks quite realistic 
So let's turn that layer off, go to layer two, select that. And again, let's go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. So where we were last time, um, we could either make that less or more. Um, it's usually bringing it down as you get um, closer to the camera, so to speak. So imagine layer one is, the first one is, you know, really far away, then you've got a little bit closer, a little bit closer. Um, but I think around something about 20. Yeah, that, that looks pretty cool. Say okay. Let's get rid of that. Go to layer three. Now we're starting to get bigger snow. So this is going to be slightly different. We're going to do two things to this. So the first is the Gaussian blur. So filter, uh, blur, and then Gaussian blur. And again, you can change this as much or as little as you want. I like it to look really out of focus. Um, so about there, it's okay. And then also what we're going to do is add some movement to this. Um, so go to filter, blur, and then go to motion blur. And with motion blur, we can change um, the distance, okay, and the angle as well. So we can change at what angle um, these are blurred to. So we can really push these up. Look. Um, now you've got to be careful. You've got to try and get it so it looks realistic. Now remember when you, you know, when you're photographing uh, things like this and snow, you're going to get some movement. Um, you're not going to be able to freeze that. So there is going to be a fair amount of movement, and it's just determining determining how much movement. I reckon around 68 looks quite good. So okay to that. So let's go to layer four. Get rid of that, layer three. So these were the largest ones, weren't they? So again, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And let's make these a little bit more sharper than the rest because they're bigger. Okay. And then filter, blur, motion blur. This is what we had set on the other one. I reckon a little bit less. Um, because I want to see it, but I want it. I want it to have movement, but I still want to be able to see the snow. Yeah, does that make sense? Um, so I reckon. I think about there. Actually, that looks quite realistic. Uh, again, you can experiment with this. I'm just being a bit finicky of it. So we say okay to that. So now what we can do is just turn these back on. And there we go. You can see we're starting to get a realistic effect. Now, if we look at this overall, to me, that looks like there's a little bit too much. So maybe we take away some of the background. Maybe we move some of the bigger ones. Um, I think I may have overcooked the first layer. So I can click on that layer and bring the opacity down. And that will just kind of help me define the background area. Same with layer two, I can click on the opacity and just decide how much I want. And also I can I can go to the move tool as well and I can move it. So I, I, I can be really precise with exactly where I want this to be. Um, so you have full control over it. And layer three, again, just bring this opacity down. Let's see what that does. Yeah. And layer four, again, let's see what that does. So there we go. So you can see like here, um, there's actual snow there that's that's fallen over the um, over the flower. Now, I actually quite like that because it makes it look more realistic. But if you want to get rid of that, then you just use the eraser tool. So you just come press E or just click on the eraser tool, press E on the keyboard. Um, and you can literally just erase that bit out there. Look. So there you go. It will just take it away. But like I said, it's entirely up to you what you want to keep and what you don't want to keep. Um, sometimes it, it looks more natural if you do have some of the snow coming over the front um, because it will, you know, obviously gives it a more three dimensional look. So once you finish with that, um, you know, you can carry on. You could you could go and blur these more um, if you wanted to. I'm just going to group these together now. So I'm going to hold the shift key down, select them all, press control G just to group them together. I'm going to click on the background and I am just going to make this a little bit more moody. So I'm going to click on the um, down here, look, can you see there? There's that little circle there. That is the adjustment tool. 
and I'm gonna do uh, let me think let's do um, I want to make it a little bit more moody let's go to color lookup which I looked so if we click on that let's try I don't know foggy night try that a bit random yeah that's pretty nice gives it a little bit more mood but again we can come down to the opacity and just drop that a little bit so I'm just playing around now I'm just goofing around uh, and we can play around with the blend mode as well we could have screen overlay um, overlay is quite cool a little bit dark so let's just bring this opacity down and there's always a tipping point up there I'd say yeah so if we now look at that so that was before and after with the look which is a color look up basically um, you don't have to do that stage I'm just doing it just to make it look a little bit more cooler I suppose or colder um, but if you look at the groups there you can see that we've got the snow and you know we can add or take away any of these so um, if I wanted to duplicate this I could you just press command J and that's just duplicated that layer so you can see there look it's just added to it so if you want to add more snow you can um, layer two there we go layer three and layer four so let's take layer two out I think layer two was the overkill so you can just click on that press delete and there we go that's that's got rid of that and we can look at the extra selection that I've just made yeah that's a little bit overkill as well so let's just delete that so I'm just pressing delete and it's given me them layers there so again you know you can you can play around and control these as much as you want um so that's how you do it and and it it does look pretty realistic doesn't it you wouldn't be able to tell that that um was not there at all um if we look at the before and after you can see there the before and after and we've got the color look up there as well so uh, the before the color adjustment and there so that is how you add snow okay so like i said at the beginning if you're a vip member this brush will be pushed straight up into the group um, after i've gone live and uh, you will then just all you have to do is come down and just click these start creating the layers and start painting on so it'll be really really simple and quick and easy for you and for the rest of you just follow what i've um shown you when you're creating that brush and it also you know that is how we create brushes and different effects so you can play around with that and define new brushes and, and things like that if you want to so i hope that's helped um i've really enjoyed doing this and like i said because we've got snow in the uk today i just thought this would be ideal uh, i'm just doing a levels adjustment just to make it a little bit brighter um but yeah i think that looks really really interesting so don't forget um that if you want to be notified every time that I'm going live, so just click on, just follow this link here and just type follow and you'll get sent a text message. Uh, my next five step blueprint to photography challenge starts on January the 18th, Monday, January the 18th, 2021. Five days with me, get off auto. It's really, really good. I've got quite a few people registered for that already. So come over and join that. Uh, and also go and check out my website as well, dslr.guru. That's all it is. Um, and you can find some interesting stuff on there from blogs um, and also my settings. Um, I call it app because it's going to be an app very soon. It go onto there and it will tell you what settings to use on your camera. And there's loads of other interesting bits and bobs on there as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions, post away. I'll be happy to answer them. And I look forward to seeing your images with snow on them. And uh, take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.